89, that whole time period was an explosive time in the sport of surfing. I mean, it was going through the greatest growth in the sport. Uh, the media recognition was, uh, was staggering. Uh, it started to move into the mainstream press. Um, how did you deal with all that? How did that all? Um, whew. I mean, I guess as well as I could. Um, you know, I've, I've had my blow ups, I've had my bad days, just like anyone else. But, you know, I think the more you sort of sit down and understand and realize that uh, the media is part of what we do. Um, once you're, you know, once you start getting up there or once you're at the top of your sport, you know, people want to talk to you, people want to know things. You've got to be available to do stuff like that. And um, I had a manager at that stage who, Although we parted our ways and had a bit of a, a disagreement later in, in our careers, uh, that year he made me deal with certain things, and, and one of them was dealing with the media. Speed, generating speed. I, you know, part of like when I watch Kelly flick it, and then and then like you said, you know, comes down and sets up for his next move. I mean, he's, the, the amount of speed momentum that's generated out of those moves now are staggering. Yeah. How do you look at? What do you what do you see? Well, I mean, I could say equipment plays a big part in it, but I think the individual surfer, you know, you look at guys and some guys are naturally faster than others on waves. Um, some guys have more explosive natural body energy than other guys, so that they naturally can generate more out of their boards or the wave. Or, But I think it basically also comes down to the knowledge of a wave as well, you know. Knowing that you can trim high and keep speed like Gary Elkerton was doing the other day to come around that section, you know, that's... Shit, anyone can get speed that, like that on a big wave, but to, to have the knowledge to, to know where to find it is, is another thing. You know, it's the most important factor in surfing, you know. You, to me, it's the difference between a good surfer and a great surfer. How about surfing into your 50s? I mean, you know, again, it's, you got a little time, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not the way it's going at the moment, mate. Surfing into my 50s is, is uh, it's reality. Um, there's no doubt about that. Just what boards I'll be riding is another question. <laughs>